This is the spawn that is recommended the most for knights under 100, Lion's Rock. The spawn is located in Dorasha, but it will require to start the quest Lion's Rock in order to access. But don't worry, you don't have to do the whole quest, all you need is to get a Cobra Tongue and then head to the spawn, as the other two items you will get them there. First head up and right click the flowers on the top of the mountain to get the lion's main flower. Then on the middle floor use the fountain to get the ewer with holy water. Then head underground to start the quest. First head northwest to this spot and use the cobra tongue on the statue. Then south to this spot and use the flower on the coal basin. And lastly northeast to use the water on the pedestal. And that's it. Doing this will grant you permanent access to the lion's rock past the flame in here, which is where the spawn is located. Head down the stairs and then follow the path to the northwest until you reach this part. And this will be the area that you want to hunt just by doing a lap around the cave. The creatures you will face here are mainly ancient scarabs and roaring lions. And my level recommendation is 70 plus. If you have already hunted ancient scarabs before, then the spawn won't feel much different. However, the appeal of it is that due to the design of the cave, with mostly two square halls and the floor tile being a stone, makes it ideal for knights to hunt and pretty bad for other vocations. Since the route is pretty straightforward, there isn't much to add there, it's just as simple as doing the lap over and over. And it shouldn't be necessary to go downstairs if you have the cave for yourself. Most of the times you will be killing two scarabs at a time, but the lions do come in packs, for which I recommend to kite. But you could also stay on the halls and kill two lions at a time as well. But that will reduce the experience a bit more. The benefit of kiting monsters on this spawn and in general is that if you move towards the next pool as you're killing the current one, then it reduces the dead time in between the walks and that improves experience and reduces waste. Which by the way, a level 80 with a skills of 84 and 2 imbuements of mana level 1 and crit level 1, I was making on average 510k experience per hour on 150%, which is around 340 on yellow. After you get Exotic Grant at level 90, it should go up, but it didn't come back to test. So leave in the comments below how much you make pets on level 90. Also, with low skills and basic imbuements, it's very unlikely to make profit on this spawn, unless you play on a new server with cheap potions. But if you have better skills, then it should be possible to profit. A few years ago, it was more profitable because the Lion's Mane were more expensive since they are needed for the Sword Imbuement, but now they are worth the price of NPC because the World Lions dropped them too. Also remember that if you are under level 80, you can pick up the task for Ancient Scarabs at Grizzly Adams. And lastly, if you're wondering what is the rest of the quest for, well, once you finish it, then you will be able to do a task that is repeatable every 24 hours that by using a small ruby, sapphire, amethyst and topaz will give you one of these items. The one that matters is the lion's heart. This item is used to taint the noble lions which can be found under the hunting area and it can be worth anywhere from 50 to 100k in most servers. But be aware that if you already have the mount then you won't be able to get the item from this task. With that said, that's all I got for this one. If you want more places to hunt, check out my playlist for solo nights. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing or supporting directly with Timia Coins to Good Donation.